See, this is why they call me the dating doc, okay? Give me the prognosis, the diagnosis, and I give you a little bit of the cure or a little bit of that treatment to make sure that the symptoms don't come back, right? So Vision 2020, this is what this whole episode is going to be about. It's about making sure you're focused. So if you're resolution minded, I got you covered. And if you're mindset motivated, mindset focused, like we talked about in episode one, I really got you covered. Stay tuned. We got some good stuff coming up. Here's another point I want to make is do not, and I really mean this, do not tolerate crazy. Do not tolerate crazy people, all right? Nowadays, there's um, memes and, and little sayings, little quotes where crazy people are almost justifying themselves, all right? They're like, oh, you know, I'm the kind of person no one can handle or I'm the kind of crazy no one can handle. Don't take pride in that. Crazy is crazy, right? For example, I've seen uh, some of my Facebook friends, if you want to call them that, that will screenshot a conversation they've had with someone. And you look at it. You look at both sides of it. Most of the time, it's the ladies doing this. They'll screenshot um, a guy who it didn't work out with them. And, you know, not creepy talk, not unsolicited photos, just it didn't work out. And they almost do it with a badge of pride. Like, oh, you know, I told this guy off. And another example why I'm going to be single or, you know, another creepy guy. And again, I look at the conversation and it was just like an argument came out of nowhere and they share that screenshot. And I'm going to tell you this. This is, to me, a sign of immaturity. Because you got to be aware of, of uh, your reputation and how that comes off. You know, you're going to have friends that are going to get a good laugh out of it. They probably think, oh, all men, all women are ish. You know what I mean? But um, you're not going to see the vice president of a company do that. You know, you're not going to see, you know, someone running for um, some sort of political candidacy doing that. And honestly, you're not going to have grown folks do that anyway. Right? You don't want to invite that kind of energy to be screenshotting conversations you've had and all of a sudden you think you're on some other level because you rejected someone. That To me, that is straight crazy. Hold your own. Do it in private. If it didn't work out, hey, move on. Be a grown-up about it. Okay? Don't have that ratchet mentality. And the sad part is this applies to any educational background. doesn't matter if... They watch the MBA or have an MBA or both. Get away from that mindset. Okay, so stay away from crazy. And if anything, let's lift up these group of people. So the group of people that I just mentioned to uphold, to lift up, to start really paying attention to are the humble, mature, self-confident types. Nowadays on Instagram, especially Instagram, because, you know, it's very it's, it's much a, a picture video type of platform. The ones that get attention are the ones that are wanting to seek attention. And you got some really humble, good looking, educated folks out there that are not getting that much that that love. Right. So what you got to do is you got to you got to see their profile. And if all their pictures is just dumb, you know, at the club, spinning the camera around with a little two, three filters or whatnot. And that's almost all their pictures or all, all, almost all the videos. What does that tell me? What kind of message does that tell me? Now, you got someone who has a picture of them. You know, they could be volunteering. They could be on some. They could be hiking. They got pictures with their family, their friends. Um, you know, they, they got some chill photos like for example since i live in san antonio they have a nice little photo of them at the pearl or the, you know a workout photo that's not very sexually explicit that tells me a whole different story 
right? To me, that's a person that's humble. That's a person that is not leading with this attention seeking type mentality. Yet we keep focusing on these attention seekers. What ends up happening with these attention seekers is you're going to go down, you're going to go down this worthless um, maze and, and you come out of it with nothing, right? You have fun, you do a little flirtation and whatnot, but guess what? Attention seeking folks just want quantity. They just want a lot of people giving them attention, giving them likes, talking to them real quick. Most of the time, their conversation skills suck. You talk to a humble man or woman, they got a story. They're willing to talk to you. They're more human. If not, you might as well get like a, a program or software that automatically talks to you because that's pretty much what the attention seekers are going to do. They're just going to say hi, hello, how's your day? And then all kinds of little flirty emojis and laugh emojis and whatnot in between. There's no content. So we got to uphold. We have to uplift the grown folks. Okay, the mature ones that aren't always leading with attention seeking. Look out for those humble folks, okay? And if you're thinking they're boring, I'm gonna tell you what, because I know from personal experience, some of the humble, mature, lead with character instead of attention seeking folks, we're the biggest freaks, right? Or we are adventurous, but you look at it at face value. You look at, oh man, she's looking good. Look at that photo and all that stuff. And then you talk to her, you got nothing going on. Or same thing, if a guy's just trying to get his attention, he's trying to stunt how much money he's making, or he's trying to show off the, the shirtless photo, you know what you're gonna get, right? The percentage is very low that you're gonna get some guy who's like super quality and wanting to like stick around, right? So it works for both sides. Let's uphold humble, quality people in 2020. They're not out there getting that attention, but you need to give them that attention because they're quality. So something that gets overlooked is how much money you use when it comes to dating. If you're part of a subscription to any of the apps, if you spend gas money to get to a date, if you spend on an outfit to get ready for that guy or gal that you're interested in. Uh, let's see, if you overeat or you over drink, because you're sad about that person that didn't work out. This is all money. This is all part of the hard earned money that you are giving up for dating to meet someone, whether it's casual, long term, etc. And a lot of us don't really pay attention to that. And I don't blame you. You know, you're not supposed to get into this analysis paralysis and calculate every single penny that you devote to dating. But what you need to do is be a lot more aware of the fact that you are giving up a part of yourself when you go on a date. Not just the time, not just the energy, not just the emotions, but the money. So for 2020, when I mean save your money, I don't mean don't go on dates. I mean save your money for the right people. All right, that little exciting bad boy that looks good but you're not quite sure what he's all about you haven't got a chance to know him but you want to see him so bad hey you can have a couple of those but don't waste all your hard-earned money or your time if he's not the one same thing with the guys you know you want to see that one good looking woman then you find out she's batshit crazy he just lost some gas money and you're down about 45 bucks for dinner so 2020, before you go on a date, ask yourself, is this person someone I want to fully invest my time, energy, emotions, and money into? If not, hey, move around. This last segment, we talked about money. And let's talk about investing that money into making you a better dater, into giving you that rocket fuel to get you on the next level of dating. I have what's called 
Dating 2020. It's a boot camp where you get assigned an accountability partner that's going to keep you on track, someone you could be vulnerable with, and someone you could do your dating homework with. What do I mean by the homework? You get curated videos from me, myself, Chris, the dating doc, and these are going to be videos that are going to help you increase your confidence, set boundaries, and make sure that you're not doing the wrong patterns and you're actually developing new patterns when it comes to dating. So you're probably asking, how much does this cost, Chris? It's going to be less than filling up a tank of gas and it's just going to be a couple lattes okay so right now i have a special going on if you are interested mention this podcast whether you see us on instagram facebook or our website mention this podcast and i will give you a discount for what the listed price is at the time so you need to join up reason being is because this is not a sales pitch where I say, hurry up and do it now. No, literally, you have to hurry up and do it now so you can get your accountability partner assigned to you. So I got to get back on this dating 2020. The reason that I stress this boot camp is because many folks out there tell me, Chris, you know, I spent a $200 tab and I just could not get the girl that I wanted. I, I took on this awesome fancy date and it just didn't work out. Or I hear a woman that says, Chris, you're not going to believe this. I went to this nice gala and I spent all this money on the new dress and the guy is just not the one. Well, guess what? You're going to find out a lot about yourself through this Dating 2020 boot camp. You're going to find out how sometimes people lead with fear and pride and a combination of all that and how they continue to fail with dating. The more you're aware, the more you end up saving the same money that you spend on this dating bootcamp. So check it out, Dating 2020 Bootcamp, brought to you by The Dating Doc. Another factor to be aware of when it comes to dating is time. So we talk about time, money, energy, and emotions. How much time are you going to devote to dating? And why are you devoting that time? Do you want attention? Do you want to actually meet someone? Do you want some good sex? Do you want the diversity of doing something during your day? First, define the ends, right? Figure out what's the goal. What's the objective? What do I want to do with dating? And then structure your time accordingly. Again, I repeat, tell yourself, why am I even doing all this? Sex, long-term companionship, or just simple attention, or to mix up your day and structure your schedule accordingly. Quit wasting time, endlessly swiping. If you match with someone that's you're vibing with, you're connecting with, because what ends up happening is you actually lose time. Right? You gain more matches, but you lose time because that person you're vibing with has now been diluted with five other matches. And now it's rinse and repeat. And that one person you're talking to has now become an afterthought. And you're back to the races. So you're actually wasting time. Okay, I'm not a fan of the attention seekers. Right, I, I don't mind if someone's not ready to commit to get into a long-term relationship or doesn't even want to. I'm okay with that. But don't be an attention seeker. Don't just be treating dating, especially those that are online focused when it comes to meeting someone. Don't just be doing it to get attention, to just, you know, lottie dotty kind of play some play some games with people and advertise your Snapchat and your Instagram instead of actually having a conversation with someone. Don't be that person. Focus your time accordingly. Give it to the people that deserve it and quit wasting it on the ones that don't. That includes yourself. Focus that attention on yourself. Energy, energy, energy. Energy flows, energy is recycled, energy can come back, energy can go. Why do I mention energy? If you get bummed out, because you thought you met the one, you're gonna expend a lot of energy trying to figure out where things went wrong. Which ties into time, ties into money, ties uh, ties into emotions. Energy is so precious. And yet, 
people will go out there and waste it. They will waste energy and wait a long time for it to come back to them. So, as this episode is called Vision 2020, you got to see it clearly. See it clearly how in this past year you may have given up your energy to the wrong person, including, including the person in the mirror. You've been telling yourself, hey, I just need to get out and about. I got it. This guy might be a C plus personality wise, but he looks good. And my friend said, this is what I need. And let's not even talk about energy when it comes to the bad energy that some friends give you. Some friends give you 90% awesome advice. And then there's that 10% advice that might be out of jealousy, might be a little bit misguided, where all of a sudden they tell you, yeah, go out with that guy. That's what you need. And then you figure out how much energy you used up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, conserve your energy. Focus it, laser focus it only on the right people. And guess what? Don't use all your dating and don't use all your energy towards dating. Right? I know this is a subject I talk about. Get out there and do some hobbies, work out, expend your energy when it comes to something creative. Don't revolve it around having to get that attention, that companionship. Let that energy flow. Energy needs to flow like a river. Okay, and I mean that in a sexual way, in a creative way, intellectually, you have to let your energy flow. It can't be everywhere. All right, so let's do this. Vision 2020, make sure, focus that energy the right way. So just to recap, in this episode, we talked about Vision 2020. Okay, specifically, we talked about time, energy, money, and obviously that all ties into emotions when it comes to dating and how you need to focus it the right way. So all these tie up. They're almost synonymous. Okay, you lose time with the wrong people, you lose energy. And then obviously you lose money. And that affects your emotions. It's all intertwined. You work your butt off to make that money. You might spend it in the wrong places. You feel like you've wasted time. And you obviously know you've wasted your energy. Or positive note. You got a lot of energy. You're focusing in the right ways. You're creative. You're going on quality dates. You are focused more instead of on expensive dates, on building chemistry within those dates. Now we're talking. Now the energy is flowing. Now you feel confident that you're investing in that person in each and every way when it comes to time, money, energy, and emotions. That flow is where we all need to be. That zone. It's a beautiful thing. It is way possible. With that said, with that said, we also have the Dating 2020 Boot Camp. Okay. You can miss out on this because it's a Money investment, it's a time investment, it's an energy investment. But you know what? I got to plug it because I take pride in what I do. I've been doing this for a long time. We have plenty of successful clients. And what I mean by success, I'm talking people that have improved their confidence, have set their boundaries. And guess what? The most common way people want to measure success is they end up in a solid relationship. I have the records. I have the references. Let me know. And I got you so I can show you that the Dating 2020 Boot Camp is going to be a benefit to you. All right. So hope you enjoy this. Uh, Keep on supporting this podcast. It's all about you. Okay. So as you hear this through your eardrum, apply what I've said. The power is all within you. Thank you, people. Thank you. And keep supporting the Dating Doc. Love you. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.